we shall discuss now what is the impact of technology on the agriculture a country like india where 80 percent of people depend completely on agriculture we are going to learn or understand what is a traditional way of doing agriculture first of all because agriculture is the basic occupation of the individuals of india and most of the families in india depend on agriculture or the allied activities of agriculture let us see here agriculture the person who does agriculture is known as farmer generally they produce in india either paddy or it's also rice then it's wheat then they produce even cotton as per the conditions climatic conditions water supply depending on the need and the circumstances they adapt to any one kind of particular crop which is suitable for their land which is they are going to own it then most of the agricultural people farmers depend on rainfall two thirds according to the statistics two thirds of the indian agriculture depends on the monsoons of india monsoons are the seasonal rainfalls which occur in the month of june to september where the entire crops are supplied water through the seasonal rains known as monsoons the outburst of the monsoons is key expected to do any agricultural activities in country like india then moving on to this rainfall we get this rainfall only once in a year and moving on to the other items or tools which are used in the day to day purposes of doing agriculture is plow then we have sickle then we have spades and crowbars these are the basic activities which are used or items which are used in the day to day works of the farmers the farmers do all these things as the time passed on and the generation passed on india got its independence in the year 1947 after india got its independence in 1947 most of the indian leaders decided in the first five year plan that the major concentration should be in the improvement of the agricultural supply or the increase the productivity of the agriculture by providing irrigation facilities these irrigation facilities can be provided to the individuals by supplying or construction of the dams and make sure the water is supplied through the canals so most of the farmers who are dependent on the seasonal rains can also get benefit through the supply of the water from the dams and the excess flow of the water also can be stored in the dams and can be used whenever it is required so the plan was shifted in the construction of the dams so when the dams were constructed and the government started to encourage the people to think of the new technologies the new seeds were brought out new fertilizers were brought out new pesticides were brought out which are completely irrelevant to the human environment like we got the biodegradable things later we got the fertilizers and pesticides which are made with the natural manure and all these things were the traditional setup of the indian agriculture how did the technology change these all these things most of the work in the indian traditional agriculture is done by the human beings or it is supported by the animals like cow or buffalo what is the major change that has happened are even today the cows and buffaloes doing the agriculture for the indian farmers yes or no we'll find out now in the technical changes which impacted the agriculture so we have seen how the agricultural traditional setup has been set up in the indian context now we'll see how it has been changed as per the impact of the technology really did it change did it bring any positive changes for us what are those let us see here see the impact of technology has been divided again into three categories we are going to discuss now about increase in production later then how the technology has added then how the decline of the animals in the production activities now let us see here the entire production has increased for nearly two thirds the farmers in india started to use the best seeds and the best fertilizers in the transition period of 1960s this is very crucial because in this moment we got the starting of green revolution moment because of that we got the high yielding variety of seeds best fertilizers and good supply of water through the irrigational projects these all have ensured that india to get a very good advantage and good creep a very good crop here in the four decades of this process by late 1990s and the early years of 21st century india could able to be produce nearly 200 million tons of the food grains in the production 
and India stands in number one place in production of the food grains and it's a very good achievement. Earlier, we used to have only 1 million tons of food grains. It almost became doubled for us. But as per the growing population needs of India, it will always never be sufficient for us. But achieving such a great production in a large country like India, where it is highly dependent on the rainfalls, where the technological advancements are very less, has brought a drastic changes for us. What are the other changes that have come in the production of the agriculture? See, once the production of the agriculture has been done, the farmers, earlier they used to do crop only for one time in a year. Later, with the supply of water through the irrigational projects, we got the advancement and seasonal crops were turned into two times or two seasons the crops started to be production. It increased the lifestyles and changed the entire lifestyle of the farmers and now they were not using any kind of regular machinery which is required for them at any particular point of time like plowing, sledges, all these things. Now they started to use the tractors. These tractors are doing the work of the machinery and these are replacing the work done by the animals like cows, buffaloes and all these things because this work is done now by the tractors. These tractors are doing a heavy work and they do the crushing, throwing, seeding, all these things by the machinery. So earlier the work which was done by the animals has got been replaced by the work which is going to be done by the tractors. So the advancements in the high quality of seeds, then the advancements in the supply of water supply of the irrigation facilities and which also added with the improvement of high technology entering into the working style that is heavy work can be done by using the tractors and all these things. This also had a decline on the impact of the animal usage in the work of the agriculture. The animal usage work has literally come down to very low level or very zero levels. We have a new machine called CH Combined Harvester. This combined harvester does all the activities done by the machine like it is doing everything which is done by the people. It does the threshing, it does the sowing, it does the cropping, then also it does the mixing of all these things. So it is a combined harvesting machine. First, initially because of the tractors, we lost the importance of the animals in the fields. But this entire technology what is used by the people in the agriculture cannot be used by every farmer because a person who owns only a few acres of land cannot buy these tractors or the combined harvesters, he can just only expect that he would get a better job or leave the farming or agricultural setup and move on to industrial production units where his lifetime job is secured and his tenure is fixed. But the combined harvester is a really a drastic change in the agricultural setup where you can do the work even for 100 acres by one machine. Yes, it is costly, but it does all the activities which are required for agriculture with only one machine we can do the agriculture of even 100 acres by a single farmer or a single employee who can does this. In many countries in US, UK, Britain, France, Australia, all these countries and Japan prefer to have the combined harvesters. How can we understand the importance of combined harvesters? We will see now.